Before you click online or head out of town to Christmas shop, think local first. A local business may already have what you're looking for, or maybe a great gift you weren't looking for. Plus, when you shop local first, your dollars stay in the community to make sure that that business will be here next year, too. Unlike out-of-town business, local retailers support local charities and pay taxes. This Christmas, think local first. For the second Wednesday in a row, a Wayne High female has signed her national letter of intent to continue her education and play their respective sport at the next level. Frankie Claussen is entering her senior year of high school basketball and in front of her teammates and fellow classmates stated she'll next play for Midland University women's basketball starting in the 2020-21 academic year. Claussen talked about getting that opportunity to play at the next level and what she'll be working towards. Um, I've just been playing basketball since I was in like third grade, so I just love the sport and I'm excited to play it with a bunch of girls that love it just as much as me. Working out every day, going on their program and working hard all summer. Claussen is looking to pursue a degree in either respiratory therapy or elementary education. Last year as a junior, Frankie Claussen appeared in all 20 games played, leading the team in assists per game 2.1 and free throws made 43. She finished right behind her sister Ruby in steals per game 1.8 to 1.7 and was also second on the team in points with 8.0 per game while adding 3.0 rebounds per game. I'm most excited to just play with my sister and all my friends for one more time and to just work hard and kick some butt. Main High went 6-14 and 14 last year and will open their 2019-20 season with a road jamboree at Norfolk High on Monday, December 2nd at 5.45 p.m. The Blue Devil Girls basketball regular season opener will be on Friday, December 6th, hosting Battle Creek at 6.15 p.m. with the boys to follow. Reporting in Wayne, I'm Aaron Scheffler, WayneDailyNews.com.